clients need to understand that when they walk into a lawyer's office, that they have certain responsibilities also. It's not just the lawyer. It's not like, here's the case and you take care of it. Okay, I think clients need to, first of all, trust their lawyers. They need to be forthright with their lawyers. They have to tell them exactly what the issues are, both the bad and the good. I think that that is very important. It's just like going to a doctor. If you go into a surgeon, you have to tell them what medications you're on, what other issues may have you had, what other surgeries have you had, and what are the risks so that the surgeon can then evaluate what to do. In a law world, it's very similar. So clients that maybe feel uncomfortable disclosing certain facts need to understand that a lawyer needs to know both the good and the bad. That is very important. I think clients need to have an honest dialogue about budgeting because ultimately um, cases do require a budget and if they have a fair dialogue with the lawyer then they can structure a budget which will maintain a dialogue uh, between the client and the lawyer which is satisfactory to both sides so that they avoid problems going forward. I think clients also should have realistic expectations. You can't expect that even the best lawyers in the world will obtain results which are unattain unobtainable. So if you have realistic expectations, good communications, honesty, transparency, um, a, a good uh, dialogue on the budget, those are the things that the clients can definitely do to help their cases. They can also be ready and prepared in so far as organizing their documents, understanding the basic issues in the case. I mean, what are they trying to prove and what is the end goal? To determine that end goal in a very clear, cohesive manner to make it attainable. I think that that's probably one of the many ways that the clients can be helpful in their cases.